Building wealth is not a linear function. Typically, it starts off slow, but as time goes on and provided you don't mess things up, your wealth accumulation goes faster and faster and faster. It's more of an exponential function. And in today's video, I want to explain to you exactly how that works. Hello guys, Brad here from The Guided Investor. Welcome back to the channel for another video. If you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button because I post regular videos about how you can do more with your money. To get your first million bucks, you're typically relying on personal exertion. That is your earned income, the income that you get from working your butt off. And it's difficult to get your first million dollars this way because your earned income is not just there to build wealth, it's also there to cover living expenses and things like that. So you can only build wealth with the residual money left over. And it's difficult to build significant wealth with only a surplus cash flow because it requires a lot of discipline. And typically, discipline is where a lot of people fall short. To give you an example, the average income in Australia is around $89,000 before tax. So if we factor in tax, then your after-tax income is going to be around $69,000. Now, if we assume that you spend $50,000 on living costs, this leaves $19,000 per year, which you can use to build wealth. So if you take that $19,000 every single year, you invest it, and you can generate 6% per annum on your investment, then it's going to take you roughly 25 years in order to accumulate your first $1 million. Now, obviously there are a lot of variables in this formula and also one would assume that as time goes on, your income goes up. So therefore the amount you have to invest should also go up. But for the purpose of this explanation, we are just gonna stick with these figures. So getting that initial million dollars is quite difficult because it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of discipline. And unfortunately, a lot of people fall short on the discipline because they tend to spend everything they earn. For a lot of people, the only savings that they're doing is the mandated superannuation guaranteed contributions, which often isn't quite enough. But don't get me wrong, you can do it much quicker than this if you are either a really good saver or if you're a high income earner. So now that you have your first million dollars, your second million dollars will come a lot easier. And that is because your money is your capital and your capital is your army. Once you have some money behind you, you can put that money to work to generate money for you, which you can generate money on that again. And this is obviously known as compounding. So all of a sudden you're in a position where you not only have your earned income to use to build wealth, but you also have passive income as well, which can again be used to create further wealth. Going back to our little example, if you continue to work and earn 89,000 per annum, but on top of that, you have a million dollar portfolio, which is generating 6%, that's gonna give you an additional 60,000 per annum. So all of a sudden, before tax, you're looking at 149,000 per annum that you can work with. Now you can start to build some serious wealth. Assuming you still only deposit 19,000 per annum from your earned income, and you let the earnings on $1 million compound, it would take roughly 10 years to get your second million dollars. So as you can see, using the same assumptions, it took roughly 25 years to get your first million, but only 10 years to get your second million. Can you guess how long it would take to get your third million? Roughly six years. Now this is not rocket science, it's not magic, it's just good old fashioned compounding. And there's a real reason why Einstein said that compounding is the eighth wonder of the world and this is the reason. But what I want you to take away from this is that when it comes to building wealth, time is your friend because time gives you the ability to compound money. So a dollar invested today is worth a lot more than a dollar invested in the future. And in my examples, I've used some pretty big numbers. I've used a million bucks, but if your goal is to get to $100,000, then the same principles apply. It's gonna be really hard to get your first $10,000 but when you get that 10,000, you got a little bit of capital working for you to help you get the next 10,000, and it's gonna keep getting easier and easier and easier as you get closer to that $100,000 mark. So don't procrastinate, get started with what you have available and be consistent with it. But that's it for me today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.